All right, so I finally buckled down and I went to go watch Dune Part 2. And I'm going to be honest, I was thinking that I was not going to review this. I was not going to make a review for this movie. Because I was like, no, I, I'm not going to. It, it's just, everyone's going to be mad at me. Because I've been seeing all the reviews and everybody loves this movie. And I want to be completely honest with you guys. I want to love this movie. I know you guys don't know me, but I just want you to know, like, when it comes to geeky movies, when it comes to movies that people can geek out about, nerd out about, like, go go out and dig into all the lore and everything there is to know about the world and the story and the characters inside this world that's been created, that is something I absolutely love. It's pretty much what I live for. And this is the part where you guys are going to be like, well, apparently not, because I did not enjoy this movie very much. All right, and I know, okay, there, there it is. Everyone's going to be so mad at me. And look, all right, but let me just start with this. I mean, I keep saying I'm going to start, but okay, let me just say, for me, Dune Part 1, I actually liked it. I, I did think it was very slow. I remember thinking I wish a little more happened. But I liked what was being set up. I liked the fact that it was giving us this new world, it was giving us these new characters, and it was giving us like this lore and giving us just like insight into this weird sci-fi world. And it seemed interesting and I was intrigued. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit slow, it was very long, but there was something there. And I was actually really looking forward to Dune Part 2 because I was like, okay, so the first one, it set a lot of stuff up. It was slow. But this one's not going to be slow and we're going to get a lot more action scenes and we're going to get to know these characters more and we're going to get we're going to know a little more about this world and the lore of this world and stuff like that. And that's what I thought was going to happen. But no, this movie, I feel, is almost just as slow as the first one. It was so slow and it is so boring. Uh, and I know I do. I feel so bad. I know so so many people are going to be mad at me, but there are a few people out there that are going to agree with me. And this is for them, okay? If you loved this movie, if you love this series, then like, don't even watch me, okay? Because the thing is, I don't want to tell people don't like this movie. This isn't one of those movies where I'm like, yeah, man, I really, like, I hate this movie. And, and Hollywood, you guys are dumb dumbs for making this movie. Oh, this is trash. No, this is a really quality movie, honestly. I like the material. I like the source material. I like the passion that went into it. I will, I'm going to tell you, I am not, I don't know anything about Dune. I didn't watch the TV series. I think there was like a TV series. I never watched that. I've heard of it, but I never really watched it. I don't know anything about the books. So I, I really was going into these movies having no prior knowledge about anything to do with these films. The movie feels slow. If anything, I feel like this one feels almost more slow than the first one, and I don't know why. But to me, it just seems like everything is just set up. Everything is still just set up. It's like the movie's not actually starting. It's still just setting everything up, and it bothers me. Yes, this movie looks great. It looks magnificent. The sound, the acting, the sets, everything looks great. You are immersed into this world. I will say I got tired of being in the desert and I really wanted to see us in a different location because I was like, are we just going to stay in this dumb desert this whole entire time? And yeah, you do. You just kind of stay in that desert the entire time. I did like the introduction of this, the bad guy that's in this movie. But spoiler alert, like he, he just dies real quick. The director of this film, he loves these long landscape shots. Like he just loves them. Okay. And they take up quite a bit of this movie and it's fine it's like if you do that like sometimes it's okay but I feel like he did it way too much where I was just kind of getting tired of it I was like yeah I get it really cool and it just everything in this movie is just so feels like artsy fartsy to me it's like I want more quality okay I want more character development yeah there's some romance between Timothy Chalamet or whatever his, his name is and Zendaya's character like a little bit but not enough to where I really cared about them. And this is a three hour movie. A three hour, in a three hour movie, I should really, really be invested in these characters. You guys have had enough time to set these characters up. 
to make me understand who they are. I don't know who they are. Zendaya, she's like a tough girl who lives out in the sand and she knows how to take care of herself, you know, or whatever. Like, good. Timothy Chalamet's character, he's he's like the savior guy and, and he's very talented and well-trained, I guess. I don't, like, I don't know anything about him. He's not interesting to me. I don't care. I don't care what happens to him. I don't care if he dies. I wouldn't care if Zendaya's character died. I don't care. Yeah, there was big parts of this movie that I didn't really understand what was going on. Part of me actually does like that because I like the fact that they're not like spoon feeding you stuff. They're not giving a ton of exposition to you. But also I was kind of confused. But I also was confused because at one point I kind of just stopped paying attention and didn't even try. And I know a lot of people will get mad about that. But the thing is, I'm a character person. That is the most important part, in my opinion. Like if you give me to care about this character and understand what's actually going on inside of this character that they're fighting against. Not just, oh, they're fighting against the enemy. Like, I need to know, like, what, 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 what is the battle raging inside them? What is the thing they have to overcome inside themselves? What is their internal conflict? That's what I needed. And I just didn't get it from any of these characters. I didn't care for any of these characters. And therefore, I kind of, kind of just like zoned out a little bit because I don't care. If they would have gotten me to care about the characters, even if I got confused with what exactly was going on in the movie, I would have been way more intrigued and been like, okay, well, I'm gonna figure out what's going on. For one, I would have been paying more attention because I would have been really intrigued, like what's gonna happen to these characters. But I also would have gone home and I would have looked up everything I could about this story. And because when it comes down to it, it comes down to the heart of the story and the heart of the story are the characters. So my biggest problem is just the fact that, like, yeah, I don't care about these characters. And there's a ton of characters in here. And it's like, this is a great story for them to make great characters. And I know some people can disagree with me, but I found all of them flat. Flat and boring. There's like a romance between Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya. Didn't care. I don't care. Whatever. I guess they like each other great i don't care because it's not that interesting to me because these characters are boring i don't know anything about them I, like there are six hours committed to the story of this main character what's his name paul and i don't really know him all i know is he's kind of a tough guy and like he's a duke and there's like a prophecy that he's a savior or something the first one, they show that he does care about people and he's upset when they die. This one, he's just a blank nothing. There's nothing to him that I find interesting. So I'm just going to wrap up and say, like, this movie is getting a lot of praise. And I am glad that it is. I want more movies like this. I want Hollywood to know that this is what we want. We want quality films like this because this is a quality film. There are movies out there that I'll watch and I'll be like, this is just a crap film. Nobody cared about this movie. Like Madam Web. Nobody cared about that movie. I'm sorry. Nobody. Like, I don't think anybody was like, wow, this is great writing and this is a great film and a story that must be told. That movie just was trash. This movie is not trash. This is a quality film and I am glad that it is doing well. So do not take what I'm saying as me saying that this is like a crap movie. And there's nothing good about it. And I hope that it like dies in a freaking furnace or something. This is a quality film that I'm glad is doing well. And I wish the best for it. Just, I wish the characters were a little bit better. But I still recommend you watch it at least at one point. Unless you really didn't like the first one. And then in which case you probably won't like this one. But that's just what I think. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if you would like to help support my channel. Just keep watching movies, guys, and keep being happy. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.